Breast implants on a guy would scare me. Did you scare you, big boy? Seriously, you ever thought about that? He scares people. No, you guys know what really scares me is no. Kate, you know what? None of this right now. All right, I'm gonna put him to bed, put a movie on, and then he can go to sleep. That's it. What? I'm sick and tired of you and the technology all the time. Oh, uh, you know what? Virtual if you technology. have a problem, you know what? You go for him to bed. I'm just going to put a movie on for him. Deal with Next it. Next thing you know, Deal you're going to totally it. cut the kids off the Let's not fight around our friends, okay? That goes for the rest of you, too, you know? The whole family. All you got to do is sit and play Nintendo all day. You get a PlayStation. Not really. My side of your is that great. No, I'm not exaggerating at all. Every time I see you guys, you're just sitting in front of the TV. I love you. We don't have time to sit in front of the TV. You're vacuum cleaner sucking at your brain. Yeah, I do to an extent that we do watch it, but we don't watch it as much as you say we do. Oh, well, I'm an idiot. might admit that we do it sometimes to ourselves. So <laughs> right, so well, it's fine, but nothing to the extent that you guys do. What are you talking about? Well, you know, it's not really, I mean, come on. Okay, that's enough. Okay, Josh has to calm down. I'm going to turn the music off. We're going to go do something else. I don't, I don't want to hear her fighting about this. This is BS. Jesse, what's it? Jess? Yeah, you're right. Let's go. Good night, honey. No, we're gonna go. Honey, we'll be in the kitchen. Oh, no, we're gonna be in the kitchen, okay? No, we'll be right in the kitchen. Okay, no, we'll be right in the kitchen. Okay, I'm gonna stay. No, honey, we'll be right in the kitchen if you want it. Just scream. Okay, just scream. If you say something, you give
Oh, so what do you guys want to do? Yeah, hey, what book is that? I thought we were talking about... Guys, like, what do you want to do? Really cool. well, well, I thought we were talking about fear. Well, you know what? Why don't we put down the blanket? We'll get some candles going around. Let's get some stuff starting here. Guys, hey, can you help us with this? Get some candles. You know, undead skeletons and stuff, and snakes crawling in your bed, and spiders. Because if that's what you want, then by all means, come and you'll have nightmares for like a week. Don't forget to bring your deal with flesh and yeah, we want to know what that she's talking about. Just go to bed, man. Maybe when she gets scared, yeah. Okay, let's do a seance. No! Guys, no! Yeah, but who do we call up? I want to call JonBenet Ramsey. That sounds scary at all. JonBenet Ramsey. Blood the Impaler. Blood the Impaler is so much scarier. Oh, JonBenet Ramsey, though. We can finally find him. Yeah. Houdini. Okay. She was Hitler. Hitler. Let's call up Hitler. Let's call up Hitler. 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 I thought you said Bettany. Hitler. Hitler. Let's call up Hitler. 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 Oh, what? You're scared? Okay, everybody, fingers together. Fingers together. Oh, Grace. Oh, God, no, stop oh. it. Guys, it's too scary. It's not going to work. I'm not going to do this. Shh. What do you think? Blood the Impaler. Blood the Impaler. Come on. Shut up. Can't we just do this? Hmm? All right. Um. Here we go. I call. Guys, guys, stop! Don't do this, please. All right. All right. All right. No, no, no. The baby doesn't want to do it. We'll stop doing it because the baby doesn't want to do it. Because he lay off. I don't know. Lay off. I guess. Just, uh, I guess. So. Well, just I mean, she's probably really, just probably really scared. Her. I mean, I know that I'm really scared when I'm in the shower, that my family's getting murdered. I mean, I hear sounds and stuff, but. I know that sounds really stupid, but if you think about it, when you're in the shower and you hear sounds, I mean, somebody could be murdering your family. I've never thought of that. Yeah. That is kind of scary. scary. Because you can't hear. You know, you can't really hear if he's coming at you. You can't hear if anybody's coming. If they're really quiet enough, you can't hear them opening the door. You can't hear anything like that. You don't know what's going on. I mean, no, like, what if someone burns the popcorn? Like, can I eat that? Oh, oh my gosh! You know, you're making fun of people's fears, and that's but not really. Fair. I mean, like, sometimes. You're so overrated. Sometimes, you, sometimes you guys, know. you guys, sometimes when you hear a thump or something, like you hear a thump or no. you hear something, somebody running around, and you don't hear voices. You know, sometimes that's totally really scary. Yeah. I know, but you, I mean, especially since you're naked. I mean, you know what I'm. What are you gonna do? You're gonna jump out and see who's there? No, no. What are you gonna do? No. You know what I'm. You know what scares me the most? It's because he works nights, right? Mm -hmm. So when I'm out. Or going to the bathroom in the middle of the night, and I'm sitting on the can, and you know, there's like the tinkling of your piss. <laughs> but there's also that just weird silence. Oh, I know that is you so know, and scary. You know, it's kind of like. It, it almost feels like someone's watching. So let me you. get this noise scares you. But no. Silence scares you. Piddling piss scares you. <laughs> Jack, oh, that's, well, that's the point of it. Well, what scares you there, tough guy? Yeah. Huh? Having breasts. Oh, oh wow. Jackson, I'm having my breasts. Seriously. Oh. Seriously. Seriously, Jackson. Come on. You know what scares me? The sight of blood. Or dying alone. Jackson, what scares you? Yeah, Jackson. Or myself. Really, Jackson, enough with the breasts, okay? Yeah. Well, drowning in dirty water. Why dirty, though? It's because, you know, when you're drowning, you, like, breathe, swallow all this uh, water into your lungs, Either and it way, gets it's dirty. Like, it's got a oh, taste, yeah, gross. Yeah, I'm, I'm really serious. Serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm serious. I'm serious. way worse than That's... drowning in clean water. Yeah. yeah. Like, See, you know what? Understands you know what? understands me. Almost That's Ross, this sounds better. A little bit creepy, but Ross sounds better. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Me, Loaf, and Fight Club isn't that scary. Oh, so... no, no one said anything what? about Me, Loaf. He was talking about Man know. with Breasts. You were the one talking blood. about men. Well, you know, over you said you were scared of them. I'm scared of blood, man. The sight of blood. Have you ever seen blood just gushing out of someone? That's the sickest thing you could ever see. You know, you're just you're just sitting there, like, and all of a sudden, on like a movie or something, maybe you're watching a documentary on TV. You know, they're doing surgical stuff. You know, on uh, on the Knowledge Network or something. And then you see blood. All of a sudden, they show blood, and they always show it because they know there are freaks out there who'd like to see blood, and I don't. Okay, so if you're gonna if you're gonna make fun of me, all right, then just back off. I don't need no, this. No, no, I see where you're coming. Yeah, I 
see where you're coming from. I hate the sight of blood. It freaks me out. I get. I have a new fear, you guys. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's wrong with that? What? What's so funny about that? You can't fear the small because I'm small. Like... Jesse, Jesse. Really, Ross, Jack them with breasts is pretty scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you guys, um, what really scares me is when I'm outside, everything's quiet. I hear whispers, like, just whispers in, in the silence. That's really scary. You know, whispers, probably not whispers, it's just, you know, the wind in the tree. But what if it is no, whispers? No, but I swear, I hear Everybody, somebody... Everywhere you look, someone's conspiring. But I swear, I hear somebody saying, like, like, saying things, like scary things. I just don't want to think about it. Hey guys, you guys, let's stop, okay? Why? Cassie's getting scared. Yeah, you're the one who looks scared. I'm not. Where is that? Where the hell is Kale? He's in the ass with this woman. Uh, going, <laughs> going like rabbits. <laughs> oh, really? You yeah, cool. hmm? When was that? Hmm, about 10 minutes ago at my dad's house. Anyway. Mm -hmm. oh. Well, I gotta go to bed, you guys. What? I'm late. Wait, Marcel? I'm to work tomorrow. Wait a sec. What's your fear? Well, ever since I was a little guy, my fear has always been uh, dying in my sleep. Uh, <laughs> 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 right. uh -huh. No, seriously. I mean, uh, that's just the reality of it. But I have to go to bed. So, sweet dreams. Good night. <laughs> Don't let the bed bug bite. Kill, 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 kill. <laughs> no way. No, I have to go to bed. No. Yeah. No, I have to work in the morning. Let me just go watch TV or something. Okay, so what do we do now? I don't give. I'm gonna go watch the tube. I'm gonna go play PlayStation and kill them. Yes, um, I have to have a shower before I go to bed. Can we do a shower? Well, but you gotta stay up with me afterwards though, right? Yeah. Okay, I have to go pee, but I think he's killed. Dungeon. Second then? Yeah, go ahead. Thanks, then. Well, I guess I'm going to
I'm trying to think. It's okay. Well, I have to tell you something. I have to tell you something about Jackson. Uh-huh. My stepmother! Wait, no! Tommy! Months ago, Jackson and I were at this party. I lost sight of him. Next thing I know, he's throwing this kid out. Two story window. No provocation. I didn't even know the person. One knew he was in my math class. Jackson threw him out a two story window. Hospitalized him. Jackson has the potential to kill someone. Kill Marcel. Killed your sister. What? You think Jackson? I know Jackson's a I'm gonna stop him. I'm not gonna let you or Cassie or Josh die. I'm not gonna let any more people die tonight. All I want to know is if you're gonna come with me, I'm gonna stay with you. I can't move. Yeah. Stay here. Anyone. Run. Get the hell out of here. Run as hard as you can. I don't care where you go. Just run. I'm Jackson. Stop. Whoa, 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 shit, man. No, okay. Whoa. Just, just hold on, man. man just, just don't kill me, dude. You know what? Like you killed the others? No, man. Look, I found Cassie. Oh, I can see that. Ross, man, I couldn't kill nobody. Don't, I found my sister. Yeah, oh, no, you can't kill anybody. You can only hospitalize them. Like the kid from the party you threw out the window. Ross, man, what did you want me to do? Let him beat you? He had a bat, man. He was threatening your life. Ross, you're my best friend. I know it hurt your pride if you had to have someone stick up for you. It wasn't me, man. So if it wasn't you. Carly. Uh-huh. Carly! Shit, man, wait! Ross, what about Carly? Ross, what about everybody else? No. No, man. No!
Jackson. I even suspected him when I was spying on him when he was on the phone. Jackson could never be the villain. He's always trying to be the good guy, the better guy, better than me. But I was born first. Why, Kale? As long as I've known you. Why? Why would you kill your own family? Would you really like me? Honestly. When you walked through the door, how did you like it? When we casually dismissed you. Was it fun? Did they alienate you, Ross? They alienated me! But why kill them, Gail? Why kill me? It's okay, man. We all feel a little lonely sometimes. It's hard being the last one left. Your family, Kale! Your family! Your family is supposed to be the closest thing in the world to you! How could you destroy that? They destroyed me! Did you notice how they one by one criticize and negate everything around them? They're hypocrites of life itself. They deserved to die. No one deserves to die. Everyone deserves to die. There are no pearly white souls left in this world. Just like there are no courageous elements left in mind because my family picked them apart when they were just in their experimental stages. Everything I have, I have locked away where they will never touch it. And they will never touch it. They will never touch anything of mine again. Kale? Kale, you're sick, okay? You need help. Is that what you said? I, I couldn't quite understand you. <laughs> now I'm going to inherit my family's life insurance and humbly accept the fame of a small town native who lost his entire family to a psychotic friend who finally snapped after a long, hard life of his peers alienated. You'll never. 
get away with it. Get away with it. If you're concerned about my alibi, it's very intact. Right now, I'm sleeping in my girlfriend's apartment. Well, she's sleeping a little sounder than I am, of course. Amazing what a beer and a little white pill can do. That's all you got. Don't worry your pretty little head about it. It'll be over for you soon enough. Okay. Yes, Rob? What's your Living with my family for the rest of my life. Well, I'm afraid that one has already come true.